this is literally my favorite series on my YouTube channel. 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 YouTube channel. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression series on Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Now, last episode, we had a lucky break. We got a win with the deck that we have somehow. I saw some of your comments as well, and you guys seem to be on the same idea as me. From now on, we will do every win gives us two master packs, and every three consecutive losses in a row will give us one master pack to open, which means this episode, we are opening two master packs and a box of spell rulers. Now, without further ado, you guys know what it is when I say that. Let's get to opening a box of spell rulers. One spell ruler box, please. Okay, first pack of the day. If I could pull off my psychic maneuvers like last time and just call for an MST. First card of the pack is Giant Turtle who feeds on flames. Great. That's the first time I'm actually seeing that card. There's a lot of turtles in this deck. Eat Gaboon. Some of these cards are crazy. Horn of the Unicorn. Yeah, this, this card was gold back in the day. Black Illusion Ritual. Okay, we got the ritual spell card for Relinquish. If we could just pull Relinquish as well, that would be Clan Dalashe, as I like to say. Spear Creatine is not creatine. I go gym too much. Spear Creatine. Kappa. We're not getting any MSTs. It's not looking that good. Upstart Goblin. Okay, let's draw one card, then your opponent gains 1,000 life points. We could work with that. Mystic Tomato. There we go. That's our flow art. I mean, a set of Mystic Tomatoes will be nice. Giant Trunade. It's good, but it's banned in Master Duel. We can't do anything about that. Higher power, metal fish. Okay, Malevolent Nozla. This is a good equip so as well. I think we're going to add a few more equip cards into our deck. Upstart Goblin. We've got a set of Upstart Goblins. Chidan Bakugan. Rush recklessly. Target one face-up monster on the field. It gains us. That's not bad. We could put it into our deck as well just to get that extra boost when we're attacking. We're not getting any MSTs in this box, which is kind of bad. We're on pack number 10 already and we don't even have a single MST. We also need a Relinquished. Dark Bitch. Shining Angel. I think that's our set of Horn of the Unicorn, which is actually better than Manevolent Nuzla. Sonic Bird is good. So if we do get Relinquished, we could actually play it. Okay, that's crazy. Giant Germ. If we can get a set of Giant Germs, I'm definitely playing. Spellbinding Circle, that's a really good card. Let's see. Darkness Approaches. Miner. We don't want any Miners. No Diddy. Uh, that's our second Mystic Tomato. But can we get a Mystical Space Typhoon? Sonic Bird, that's our second one. All of these cards that we have already. Nimble Namonga. A Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, a Secret Rare. Must be first special by attributed to two monsters while you control Toon World. Now that's the problem. We don't have Toon World. A set of Nimble Namonga. A set of whatever this is. Nimble Squirrel shit would be great as well. Hamburger Recipe. That's the Summon the Burger again. Relinquished and Mystic Tomato. That's our set of Mystic Tomatoes and Relinquished as well. We have the Relinquished. Um, What was it called? Illusion? Illusion? Sighting Illusion? Motherfucker, where you at? Oh, there we go. Black illusion ritual that's definitely getting into the deck or oh, miruka we have like 10 that's our second giant germ we're not gonna get an mst it doesn't look like a lot of vanilla cards kotodama uh cyber jar cyber jar is banned well cyber jar would have been good but it's forbidden let's see hungry burger weather report gaia power mystic plasma zone these are all cards that we have like 10 of dark bitch again and the last card amoeba we did not get any msts that's going to be rough we still have two master packs to pull anything from those master packs can change drastically the way this deck is built let's get to the master packs and here we are we have two master pack pulls that we're gonna do let's get on with our first master pack pull purchase let's go we have a super rare let's see what we get all right, starting from left to right. We do not know which one's the super rare. We've got Fawn of Malice, equipped only to Black Rose Dragon or a plant monster. Maybe we could work with it. Second card, Genix, Genex Neutron. Guess what? We don't have any Synchros. Merin says Snow, and it's pointless. We're getting pointless cards. Nordic Relics Ravelin. Yep, we don't have that. Infernable Arms. This ain't bad. Do we have any fire monsters? We'll see what we do with the deck. Knights and Sorcerer. Not bad, but I don't know how I will special summon you at the moment. Heroic Advance. We don't have any heroics in our deck either, I don't think. And our final super rare, the Phantom Knights of Shade Brigadine. We can use this card. We'll see, we'll see. Let's get on to our second pack. Oh, nothing really special in this deck, which is kind of good. Sometimes we need normal, uh, normal and rare cards to actually bol bolster our deck even further renaissance insect nice effect i don't know if we have any more effect monsters gimmick puppet gear changer once per turn you could target one gimmick puppet monster you control we're not gonna have any of those libromancer agent the second part of its effect is pretty useless since we don't have any more libromancer card 
but this can go really well with our relinquished it's a good 2000 attack monster that could be special summoned if we just show our relinquished if we get relinquished in our hand foolish and frolic frolic jump look i don't know what this does yeah that's that's we can add that to our deck but it's not that great dragoonity special summon one beast dragoonity monster we don't have dragoonities harpy's hunting ground dark bishop at archfiend nice roll card but it is what it is and sky striker maneuver it's a sky striker hand but okay that's that's nice that's a nice card to add to our deck all right we'll see what we can do with these cards and i'll see you guys in the deck profile this is what our deck's looking like for today's episode we kept the seven colored fish for obvious reasons we added the giant germs that we had jurai gumo stays we added dark zebra at three hane hane stays sonic bird is there to get the black ritual we have the three mystic tomatoes tomatoes we added genix neutron for a high attack four star monster libromancer agent to actually special summon when we reveal relinquished hopefully we could get that combo going in our deck as well we have barrel dragon as our obvious boss monster along with sanga of the thunder for spell cards we didn't go with many changes we took out a few cards we added a sky striker maneuver that we pulled from the master pack we added horn of the unicorn for obvious reasons easy equip spell that we could just keep top decking black illusion ritual ritual spell for the relinquished rush recklessly quick play spell for 700 attack and for trap cards trap cards we kept solemn judgment we added the phantom knights again a master pack pool i added house of adhesive tape just for cards that like that like um okay kai you know this is a good card to just keep in there as well since we didn't have many other options <laughs> Duel number one. Let's see if we could get any more wins. We have one win under our belt. He has no extra deck. Ooh, this first game has me excited already. We drew seven colored fish and a bunch of spells. Rush recklessly with seven colored fish. Good card. Shield and sword. Switch attack and defense. Good card. Block attack. Good card. I mean, it's not a bad hand. I know we're going to draw another card as well. So looks like seven colored fish is our boss monster for today. As we wait for our opponent, he plays... What the hell is that? Card advance? Is this Monarchs? Let's see. He sets one card. That's another spell. That's another set. And another set. He has only one card in his hand and it's an end phase. Is this the one, guys? Is this the one where we actually win without winning by accident a heavy storm let's activate heavy storm because he's only gonna have one card in his hand hopefully if he can't activate anything right now can he negate what's this by order of the emperor is this a monarchs when a monster effect that's a monster effect though what's he playing fisher oh my god dark advance um seven colored fish go go my guy is this the first game that we're gonna actually be able to win on our own without the opponent disconnecting excited 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 uh if we actually manage to win on our own that's gonna be the best thing but i don't know how his deck pops off okay when you tribute summon a monster by tributing this card return this card to your hand enter why didn't he play that in defense position which means we get Dark Zebra on the field as well. A Mystic Tomato. Um, that would have been nice. But Dark Zebra, go. Let's go. Let's go. That's our first win. First game, first win. I mean, I would have preferred if we played a bit more. All right, first game, first win. Great start. And you know, you know, you know how it is, guys. Ooh, Libromancer. We got Giant Germ to play with. Tribute to the Doomed. That's nice, but it all depends on what he plays. And he's playing Runix. Yeah, GG. Yeah, usually at this stage, any deck that we play, any structured deck that we play is probably going to have the upper hand in the deck. I have no idea what he's doing, but yes, he's just gotten rid of three of my cards. What did he get rid of? He got rid of Sonic Bird. We were about to pull a Mystic Tomato. He's probably like, what the fuck am I looking at right now? He looked at my, he looked at my grave. He looked at my banish power and he was like, um... What am I playing against? What the hell? And now he sees Jurai Gumo. He's like, huh? <laughs> okay. End phase. And we draw Horn of the Unicorn. If this card is special summoned, can we destroy him? What? Banish your opponent's entire hand. What kind of card is this? And what happens? Do I get to draw? Oh, okay. I get to draw. That's fine. I drew Relinquished on Raigeki, though. We Raigeki. Right? Get rid of that card. And then we just try and do damage. I guess not. 
He's not gonna get destroyed, is he? Because of whatever he just played. Runic's a spell deck, I forget sometimes. And now he's playing another card. Ah, uh, if I had a level seven, I could have tribute summoned maybe. No, I couldn't have. Runic destruction. He has so many quick play spells, man. Oh no, he got rid of my. That was my illusion ritual card. Oh goddamn. Well, that sucks. I stopped playing so many cards. Yeah, nah, nah. We're activating it. So we're going to summon it. And then we're going to put it in defense position. And he shouldn't be able to destroy it. Yep, okay. He keeps getting rid of my cards, though. That's I think that's his game plan. It's my turn. Come on. It's my turn. I should be playing, not you. It's turn two. What is this deck? I hate I hate decks like that have um, effects like this, where it's like, I'm going to play in your turn. Fuck you. I mean, it's very it's, it's very hard that we win this game because he's probably going to play like some spell cards. Apparently not. Okay. Return it to the extra deck. Sure. End turn. But he has five cards in his hand again and now he's going to take 10 hours playing spells. Look at this. Do this, do that. I'm going to run out of cards in my deck by the time this game finishes. Stop banishing my cards. Now he has back row. He's obviously going to get rid of my back row, which is fine. We're going to set Hane Hane. Going to go to battle phase. I don't think he realizes that I don't have mm, effects that I can use. Oh my god. Wait, he just fucked himself up. Okay. Hold on a sec. I mean, I highly doubt it because his spell cards and trap cards do technically stop me from playing. So Hane Hane is not going to work because of skill drain. Relinquished would not work at all. So what we, what, what we just need beef sticks now. Like if we could draw a level 7 card and just summon it and attack. Forbidden droplet. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, he's going he's, he's gonna to make me run out of cards. That's what his deck's about. His deck's about just walling it off. And then just making me run out of cards. Oh, there's our Barrel Dragon. Oh, there's our Solemn Judgment. Wait, we can still attack. Let's go Dark Zebra. I can't flip it now because it's only two types. We're going to attack his face down. He's not going to stop it. No, no, fuck off. You can't. What was that? Oh, it was this card. Ugh, so annoying, so annoying. That is so annoying. I was going to get another 1,800 off. All right, I have 11 cards left. Select the type of monster you want to keep on the field. That is so annoying. That is so annoying. He's stalling it out. So I run out of cards. We get a direct attack off. He's actually run out of things to do as well. Because I'm not playing any effects. Wait, what does this do? Oh, he, he freed up space. And now he's going to... Heavy Storm. No. No. I mean, I don't know if he could have negated the Heavy Storm. Because I think he has... Um, cards that actually can negate. No, he doesn't. I could have heavy stormed. Ah, oh, you're stalling. You are stalling. Fuck off. That card would have been great as well. I have eight cards left. Draw. I don't know what card I have that can actually change the game. That's a machine. That's a machine. No, why can I only set it? One monster of each type. Oh, no. If he didn't have that card. We would have played that and then we, we would have puffed off as well. I have no way to get rid of his back row. He got rid of my heavy storm. That's another quick play. He's going to do some shit now. Oh my god. That was... Now I have one card left. Stop. Stop. Uh, stop banishing cards. Stop it. It's GG. He, he stopped my... He got so fucking fluky with the one type thing. Damn. And that's going to be GG, right? Because I can't draw. Yep. Ah, That was a good game. That was a good game. Not going to lie. It made it fun. It was different. Now we got Black Illusion Ritual in our hand. We have Giant, giant Germ, Mystic Tomato. Let's see. Game number three. Uh, Dictator of the Dick. Oh, it's a Blue Eyes White Dragon deck. Okay, nice. It is what it is, you know. It is what it is. What the fuck was that? 
Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. Other cards you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. I don't have many card effects, my guy, but now he's acting like Kai, but just bringing out Blue Eyes White Dragon out of the blue. Like, bro, wait, what the fuck did you do? It's probably like Dictator of D, right? Yeah. And then he has Chronicle Magician. Is he going into... Ayo, chill, bro. You need to chill. What do I get? Phantom of the Knights. I think it's an easy... We're going to play Mystic Tomato to stall it out. And turn. Heavy Storm. That's fine. That's a waste of Heavy Storm because I'm just going to activate this and put it in defense position. Yep. He's probably looking at this like, oh shit, he's playing Phantom Knights. Only if you knew, my guy. Only if you knew. Oh, there's Sage with blue eyes. Sage what? Sage with eyes of blue. Okay, a lot of Aryan references. What's going on? The White Stone Ancients. I should make a blue eyes deck soon. Is he going to summon another blue eyes? He's a, the, the jet. He summoned blue eyes white dragon A360. A380. Blue eyes white dragon A380. Oh, God. Do, 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 do. Oh, why is that rabbit twerking, bro? Come on, come on. Oh. Okay, that's one less monster to worry about. Number 90, Galaxy Eyes, Photon Lord. Battle phase. Yes. He's going to attack that with that. Okay, that's fine. Oh, shit. He's going to negate my Mystic Tomatoes effect. We're going to get another Mystic Tomato. Oh, wait. That's an attack position. What? Yes. No, we don't want to. Another Mystic Tomato. He didn't attack. Oh, okay. Well, at least we have a card on the field. Um, relinquished. Relinquished. Sangan. Come on, man. Is this for one turn only? It is. Uh, giant Germ. We're going to set Giant Germ. We're going to change Mystic Tomato to defense position. And we're going to end turn. Well, there's. he's going to activate effect. Or he's going to synchro into an 8. No, he's just going to attack. Okay, he's like, fuck this. That was his last Mystic Tomato. Yep. Okay. Special summon Witch of the Black Forest. And then activate its effect. And we can get, if we take Relinquished. Is that it? Nice, he couldn't attack with the 600. And now it's my turn. I think I can summon Black Illusion Ritual. And which means he's gonna just be left with zero attack. If I add Rush Recklessly 700 attack to 1,800, that's 2,500. Uh, yes, I, I am I am calculating correctly, right? 700 plus 1,800 is 2,500. So we play seven colored fish. He max sees. I'm not going to special summon. We go into battle phase, right? We play Rush Recklessly. I, I'm not sure if it's going to prompt me. But we add it to seven colored fish. We go into battle. We attack his galaxy eyes. Kill it, right? Main phase two. We activate this effect. Special summon relinquished. Uh, tribute the monster's... Yes, tribute the germ. Play relinquished face up. Uh, activate relinquished effect. Equip this. And then end my turn. I mean, we kind of got rid of his boss monster. I don't know what the effects of all these other cards are, though. That's the problem. Um, I don't know if I could keep relinquished alive long enough. Um, apparently not. What, he could just summon that again? What, what was the chance that he just gets Harpy's Feather Dust? I mean, it didn't matter. I mean, it did because he was able to special summon it that way. But at least we got to summon Relinquished. You know, we got to see it in action uh, in this episode. But yeah, it's, it's, he's just he's just summoning. He's, he's Kaiba. He's just like, okay, yeah, I'm summoning Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. I'm summoning Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. 
and I seem to have another blue eyes in my hand. I'm just gonna summon it for the sake of summoning. Oh, I don't think he even needs to do this. I have 5,500 life points. He just attacks twice and it's over. The A380 and the blue eyes dragon polymerization into blue eyes tyrant dragon. Okay. Can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. Relinquish, take him, take him. No, no, no. Direct attack. You know what? GG, GG. You're, you're, you're starting to hold your own deck. You're starting to hold your own, kind of. Not really, but kind of.